Detectives from the La Follette Police Department are investigating a gruesome find that took place yesterday afternoon on Big Creek inside the city limits. At approximately 3.50 p.m., a 17-year-old boy discovered a human body in the water behind his home on East Woodland Court. Upon officers' arrival, a body was found submerged in approximately two feet of water. Officers responding to the scene included lead investigator detective Monty Miller, detective Josh Hill, detective Steve Wallen, Sergeant Brian Tiller, and police chief Jimmy Jeffries. An investigation revealed the person to be Stephen A. Phillips, age 40, of La Folle. Detectives are actively investigating the incident. Phillips was taken to the University of Tennessee where an autopsy will be performed today. Detective Hill said the fully clothed body had numerous abrasions but would not speculate on the cause of death. Chief Jeffries states the investigation is ongoing and the department could not release any other information at this time. He makes life easier for the judge. That's how criminal court judge Shane Sexton, without hesitation, sizes up Harry Burden. Burden's been the standing foreman for Sexton's court for the past 15 years and the 24 years before that with the late Judge Lee Asbury. Sexton tells WLAF that he wants to send Harry out in style with a noon celebration for him at the courthouse coming up tomorrow. After all, Burden's been a faithful servant of the court as its grand jury foreman for some 39 years. The judge describes Harry as competent, trustworthy, and a real pleasure. In fact, Sexton calls him one of the last of his kind. Nowadays, in Sexton's other county courts and across most all of Tennessee, a grand juror is selected as acting foreman by the judge when a new session begins. Compared to having an old hand like Burden, the judge now has to take time to train the acting foreman and then follow up to make sure he is carrying out his duties as outlined. Just another reason Judge Sexton hates to see Harry Burden heading for the house. The Campbell County Board of Education has a special called meeting set for Friday at 6 p.m. at the courthouse. That will take place tomorrow night. Chairman Josh Parker says that the only item on the agenda is the proposed 2013-14 budget which the board failed to pass with a majority vote on Monday. We will have the details for you right here after that meeting. Tonight there will be a special treat at the Anderson County Fair. You may want to visit the Anderson County Fair tonight. The Beelers, a singing group from right here in La Follette, will be performing at 7 o'clock. Our Josh Edder spoke to Robin Beeler this morning and she says they are excited to be invited to perform at the fair and hopes to see lots of local people there. This Saturday, Smith's Hardware in downtown La Follette is having a special promotion for Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. For a donation of $5 to the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, you'll receive a limited edition 5-gallon bucket and then 20% off everything that fits in the bucket. That's this Saturday at Smith's Hardware in downtown La Follette. The Jellicoe High School football team has preseason scrimmages scheduled for August 9th at Midway at 6 p.m. and August 16th at home against Hancock County at 7 p.m. The admission, $2. Tonight is Meals in a Pinch at the Jellicoe Highway Church of God. This is on a first-come, 
first serve bases. And don't forget the Sheriff's Department's Fill the Van event. That will be tomorrow from 1 to 9 at Walmart. You may donate school supplies to be given to children at the Back to School Bash, which will be August 3rd from 10 to 2 at the La Follette Elementary School. And that's a look at the news. We'll be right back with a press release from the Sheriff's Department. And only four people have been booked in to the Campbell County Jail in the past 24 hours. Yolanda Lynn Hammonds, 32, of Huntsville, for driving while suspended and on a hold for another agency. 18-year-old Sean Adam Humphrey of Sharp Ray Lane in Caraville for theft of property under $500 and vandalism. Richard Raymond Renner, 49, of Dossett Lane in Jacksboro for failure to appear and on a KPS bond. And last today, Daniel Eric Reynolds, 29, of Clinton on a KPS bench warrant. And that's a look at the news and the press release from the Sheriff's Department. Stay tuned. We have more coming your way. And be sure to join us tomorrow for the end of the week edition of the news. We sing happy birthday to you. And may all your dreams come true. Happy, happy birthday. Oh. Hey, Big Josh, with you once again on this Thursday afternoon, looking at our birthday and anniversaries. Our birthday and anniversary club is brought to you by your friends here at WLAF and Eastside Pizza and Deli. They're located in the Food Line Shopping Center. Ronald Ridner celebrating a birthday today. Happy birthday to you, Ronald. Debbie Boshears is 58 years old today. Happy birthday to you, Debbie. Frankie Nelson celebrates a birthday today. Hey, Frankie, happy birthday to you. And Nolan Rutherford, 18 years old today. Happy birthday to you, sir. And yesterday, Alice Jenkins celebrated a birthday. Happy birthday to you, Alice. We hope you had a great day, and we hope all of you are having a good day today. Now, if you're celebrating your birthday or your anniversary, and for some reason we don't have your name on our list, hey, we want you to have a good day. But remember, the only way that you can qualify to be in the drawing that we have each Friday is if we have your name on our list. So even if it's late, get it in here, will you? And you could be eligible to win a birthday dinner for two or an anniversary dinner for two from your friends here at WLAF and Eastside Pizza and Deli located in the Food Line Shopping Center. Hey, tomorrow, good Lord willing.